Did you know that there is a high potential of radon in Nebraska? And you're wondering, well, exactly what is radon? Well, it's decayed radium and uranium in the soil. There's your science lesson for today. But radon, you always hear, oh, check for radon in your house. But you might think, well, do I really have to do that? Yes, you do. Here to tell us why and how, I want to say good morning to Dr. the Executive Director at South Heartland District Health District, Dr. Michelle Beaver. Thank you, Dr. Michelle, for being here. Thanks for having me, especially during Radon Awareness Week. Yes, it's important to talk about this. And like I mentioned, some people might think, oh, my home's okay, I don't need to check it. But radon is naturally in the soil, so it could be around and probably is around everybody's home, right? So right, radon, as you mentioned, is a, a decay product from some of the elements in our soils, and they can, it can, it's a gas, and a radioactive gas that can make its way into our homes through cracks in our foundations and holes, and it can build up in a house, and if you breathe it at high enough concentrations for periods of time, it can cause um, health, harmful health effects for, for those that are exposed to it. Mm -hmm. And one of the leading causes from that is lung cancer. And the thing about radon is it's colorless, it's odorless, and like you said, it rises from the bottom and it goes all the way through your house. So there's some real effects medically that people need to be aware of. So right, if you breathe in um, concentrations of radon over a period of time, those that radioactive gas can um, impact the cells in our lungs and it can cause them to, it can damage them, it can also cause them to turn cancerous. So that's a possibility and your risk is higher the, the longer you're exposed to it and the more you're exposed to it, just like um, with smoking and that risk of secondhand smoke. But it's the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking. Mm -hmm. And it's good to know that South Heartland District Health Department does have radon kits available. How are these easy to use, these radon kits? They are very easy to use and actually it's important because you can't know, as you mentioned, it's, it's colorless, you can't, uh, you can't smell it. So it's important to test um, for radon to know whether you have um, any in your, in your home and whether it's a problem. And the, the health department and other places have available low cost um, uh, short term radon test kits and you can just hang them, you follow the instructions, you hang them or place them um, a certain distance from the wall or the ceiling and the away from drafts and you leave it for the prescribed period of time, then you mail it off to the lab, which processes it and sends you results mm -hmm. back. And how often do you know should someone be checking their house for radon? So it's recommended to do about every two years. And um, the important piece is okay. if, you're, if your level is above for picocuries per liter, which is the measurement unit, then that's the radon action level, although there's no safe level of radon, but it's really encouraged to do something about it if you have a level four or higher. And last year in our, our four counties in South Central Nebraska, 57% of the homes that we're testing for radon tested high for radon. So it's a real issue in our area, oh. actually across our whole state, and we're encouraging people during this month to um, get their homes tested, test their homes themselves or get their homes tested, find out what their radon levels are and try to do something about it so that they reduce their risk of harmful effects. Very, yeah, very good important information what you just said about the radon levels in the area. So people can come and get those kits from um, the department there? So, right, we have them available at 606 North Minnesota in Hastings, but also in the extension offices okay. in Clay, Knuckles, and Webster counties and um, the Superior Library. But um, other places, uh, hardware stores and home stores and other places also have them available okay. for purchase. So easy to do, the kits people should get them. Good encouragement to Dr. Michelle. And again, um, just bringing this uh, top of mind awareness for people when they think, ah, oh, I don't have to worry about it. Well, you don't have to worry about it, but you should check it and then go from there and see how it, how it is in, in your area, in your home. So Dr. Michelle, thank you for that very pertinent information this morning. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me.